from here. We've already been in Split a week. We found some great places to eat. All I see in here are pancakes, so maybe just put the menu inside. Ham and cheese omelet. It's kind of a small cheese. This is actually pretty good. Pretty good, and the portion size was really big, especially for 35 tuna. If you were craving pizza, go to Basta's. It's about ten dollars. It was really good, and look at the atmosphere. <laughs> Bachi is Bosnian, but the owner is Croatian. <laughs> and check out the new mall. Well, you know, we'll be coming back here for a movie. It's just a standard mall, but we did find a grocery store and we went shopping again. <laughs> But what I really want to show you is this apartment. It has two bedrooms and two full bathrooms, a giant comfortable couch, and it has everything we need in the kitchen, and the most beautiful view we've ever had in an apartment. The best part is this patio with the hot tub. This isn't right. That's better. Did you warn me next time? Thanks. <laughs> Welcome to Split. The waterfront's called the Riva. In Mexico, we'd call it the Malecon. It's a beautiful little area dotted with shops and restaurants, bars, coffee shops. It's the hub of activity, and there's usually a bunch of buskers and some pretty good artists down here. The most famous place in Split is the Diocletian Palace. This palace is unique because the emperor did not want to leave his ship, so he built his palace right next to the water. He wanted to go directly from his ship to his apartment, kind of like this. As you can see, the water's receded quite a bit. This sphinx is 3,000 years old. under the palace is now lined with market stalls. And somewhere down here is where Danny kept her dragons. This is the most famous Croatian writer from Split, Marko Marulic? <laughs> Just wander and get lost in all the little passageways around here. You'll never stay lost for long, and you never know what you might come across. Like this. This is where this, the slave revolt in Marine was filmed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> adorable. We suggest just wandering around. This is the biggest statue in Split, but I know nothing about it. And it must have some meaning because everybody's touching his foot. I may have bad luck. <laughs> really? Now we're going to go eat because I'm getting hangry. But first I need a new stick for our camera to get it out there a little further. Oh, 
Paulina was recommended as the ultimate local place. And every time we go by there, there's a long line of locals. We would have eaten there, but there's a lot of construction going on. Oh wow, it's little homemade sausages in bread. The bread, you can tell it's homemade, very moist. You can really taste the onions and the sweet pickle relish. It's very light, it doesn't have a really, really strong flavor, but it's really good. I give this a solid nine. We've had a couple of these types of things. The meat on this one is really mild. I think this is my favorite one we've had. I really like the, the red relish. And I'm gonna eat it all. And we got the large. That means 10 of the little sausages in it. In case you were wondering, our apartment is on top up there. Now towards your head, up, up, up. That's our apartment. <laughs> Another UNESCO site. The Opera House is even more beautiful at night than it is during the day. Consume is one of my favorite supermarkets. Tommy also, and you can find both everywhere. We were in line at the market and we saw this guy in front of us just grabbing handfuls and handfuls and throwing them into his cart of this. So, of course, we have to try it. Now I kind of read it says banana. Oh. Not the biggest fan unless they're fresh. But let's see. Well, that's an interesting shape. Howdy ho! <laughs> dark chocolate, banana, marshmallow. If you like bananas and dark chocolate, this is a candy for you. You so don't guess like what? either of those? This is Chris's. Bananica. <laughs> While I was in Dubrovnik, I watched my first episode of Game of Thrones. Right now I'm watching the final season of Game of Thrones. Today's hike, we plan on going from the apartment all the way around here and back to the apartment. It said it should take a little over two hours. This water is so clear. They have plaques for all of Croatia's Olympic medalists, but don't ask me how to pronounce it. This is what we waited for. Here I go again. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can Gorgeous place for a swim. We saved a lot of money coming here in the winter. But look at that water. I really want to come back during the summer. Boardwalk ended, now we're up on the road. We'll see if we can find another way back down to the water. There isn't much of a curb. But hey, at least there's no traffic. Oh wait. Very true. <laughs> Looking for a better path. I read about that church in the mountain. I have notes on it, but they're back at home. We're gonna see if we can find it. Well, apparently we discovered the nudist beach, but it's a little too cold for that. This would be a great beach to come to when it's warmer. Perfect staircase. Yes, this is a staircase to a bench and nothing else. Oh, Miley Cyrus. We altered our path just a little bit so we could come up to the top of the hill instead of going around the bottom. These are definitely the most beautiful views of Split in the surrounding area that you can get. I can't speak. <laughs> I'm out of shape. <laughs> well, the rest of it's downhill. Yay! <laughs> Into dinner at the house. Oh, my goodness!
That is goat cheese. This is really good. I'm done. We're thinking of going to Montenegro after Croatia. And our friends Louie and Sylvia just passed through there. So who better to get some advice from? Let's give them a call. Hey, legend. <laughs> Look at that beautiful face. Oh, he got it. Oh, Hi. hey, that's Sylvia. How are you doing? So we're thinking about Montenegro next. What do you guys think of it? We wish we stayed there longer, to be honest. It's really nice. Really nice. That's it. We're going to Montenegro. <laughs> guys, thanks so much. It was great to see you again. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow. All the crap in the back. There we go. Oh, there you go. I'll, I'll put a higher angle there. It's nice to actually talk to somebody who's been there so they can give us a little bit more of the ins and outs and, and their dogs are adorable. <laughs> wow, they are crazy. I, I don't know how they do it. Four dogs and two people in a van. This is the best crafting spot I've ever had. We've been waiting for this place to open. It's finally open, so let's go try it. Imagine this place, it's summer. U.S. aircraft carrier, I believe it's the Harry S. Truman pulled in the cab. That is cool. Oh, I have a Norwegian destroyer with him. Eat your heart out, Lance. <laughs> Croatian Big Mac. That's exactly in the middle of the road. I'd give it a five out of 10. Yep. I told you we'd be back here. We're coming to see Spider-Man. What are you doing? The theater is super nice. Really cheap comparatively. It was $10 for two tickets. Like it. Seats are nice too. It's called Sexy Cow. We've got to try this place. expensive but well worth it and I'm stuffed. <laughs> well it's our last day here in Split. I was able to get three and a half of my crafting done. I'm really going to miss my spot looking out at the oh, sea. Looking out at the sea. <laughs> now we'll see if these survive my backpack. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>